G'day YouTube, Four Nines Fine Silver here again. Today's project, the making of a billionaire, Elon Musk. Everything he touches turns to gold, but today's project, I'm making him in silver. So here he is, Elon Musk, with a comb over. Elon, what are you thinking? Okay guys, anyone interested in watching me make this in silver, then stick around. Okay guys, here we are. Those of you who are new to the channel, thank you and welcome. Those of you who are regulars would have realised that I haven't been around for a couple of weeks. I've been thinking about what to do with the channel and which way I want to go with it. And I'd really like to take it to a new level. And I was telling my good friend Manahuni Stacker about that. And he gave me a few suggestions which I've taken on board. So get ready for it guys, it's going to be awesome. I also got a brand new... 3d printer so guys whatever you want whatever you need if i can help you out then send me an email i'd be glad to help you out all right guys let's get started on elon and elon i'm gonna have to shove your face down into the sand to start with nice and straight now you've got your little ears there i want to make sure that they come out correctly so what i've done is gone down to the base of the ears so the tops of them are just out is what I really wanted and I need to keep it nice and square so we can get it out of the top layer bit of corn flour over the top the other piece of frame on top now I'll try not to muck around too long this I'm not going to speed up the proceedings this time I'm just going to shove it in And again, those of you who are regular on the channel would realize that I have forgotten something that I normally do with all my pieces. So, if you know what that is, then quickly write it down in the comments. Alright guys, I'll show you what it is now. I'll just flip that over so I can release it easier. Up he comes. Beautiful. Now what I've forgotten to put in was my little piece of track my little channel there that I built a sprue off I hope I have got it on the camera yes I have great so let me put that back down we'll put the two halves back together give it an extra strong roll that will put my uh, sprue channels into the sand as well flip it back over up we come and there's the marks there perfectly I'll, uh, I want the back of his head to get the sprue because I want to keep as much detail on his face as I possibly can so let's just try and get him out gently and there we are and on this one we just knock out the little piece of channel and then I make sure that the channel goes right through. And then we put our sprue hole through. Hold it upside down. We'll cut out our sprue, which is just a funnel shape. Just so the metal's got somewhere to pour. And then we'll smooth that over with our fingers. Now don't forget guys, when you're doing it, make sure that you put your skewer back through the sprue hole. Because sometimes it closes up. Just blow off any excess that's there. Now with the main feature of, the, of this piece is his face. We also make sure that the channel mark is in and looking beautiful which it is 
I'll put the two pieces back together. Now what I've been doing lately to slow down the uh, the rush of silver going into the mold, because sometimes it upsets the sand, what I do is gently put my skewer back down through and then go down about another half a centimetre. And with that it gives the uh, metal somewhere to go first before it goes down the, the uh, channel and it doesn't flood into the cavity quite as quick. So let's get our silver organized which I'll put it right here. Can you see that? And away we go. Grab our flint. it seems like a great pour we'll just wait for that to go off a little bit just still a bit wobbly at the second let's break off the, the main bolt now what I normally do is with a with a skewer is clean off to see if we've got a good job why it's still a little bit soft, I don't want to put any metal on it because it'll scratch it. Another wonderful tip from Manahuni Stacker. Guys, if you haven't seen Manahuni Stacker, then I'll put a link in the description to his channel, but you are better off to find him, I think, on Instagram. Alright, so let's have a look at what we've got. Hopefully we've got a face in there. What, what I might do is just uh, put, put it in the bucket. I know you guys love to hear the sound of the quench. And then I'll get a little bit of a toothbrush here in the water and just scrape off a little bit more of the excess. Which seems to be pretty good and here he is his ears worked out beautifully he has a little bit of flashing around the top of his head where the two molds join together but that will be easily cleaned up so guys I'll cut off the sprue I'll give him a bit of a clean up and a polish and I'll bring him in and show you and now introducing for your enjoyment Elon Musk. Yay! Alright guys, this is how he's come out after several hours of polishing and antiquing. I can tell you that the camera is not doing it any justice at all, unfortunately. But I've antiqued his hair. And for a comb over Elon, it doesn't look too bad. Alright guys, if you want to see more of me and my latest editions of my paws, then check me out on Instagram. I post everything on there as soon as I make it because I'm too excited. And then occasionally I'll make a video. So guys, I will uh, say goodbye and I'll catch you on the next one.